Hello, and thank you for joining me for another episode of Hamilton Mechanical. Today we have a really neat old Toro push mower. This is from 1981, and this is a Toro heavy duty whirlwind. Model number, let's hold the camera still 23022. 00041811 made in Minneapolis, Minnesota. And according to our let's see, where's it at on this one? Oh, here it is. It's over on this side. I don't know how well you'll be able to see this. Um there we go. Model number 130902-0543-01. And the code number, the first two digits give you the year. So this is a 1980 mower. Now, this is a steel deck mower. This is not aluminum. But what makes it heavy duty, let's see if I can get a focus. Let's see if I can get a good view of me. Now, I'm 125 pounds. I'm not the heaviest guy in the world. But I'm going to jump up and down on that mower and it doesn't even flex you got this nice big foot plate here for starting and this is a whirlwind deck so this is a very thin deck um, comparison with my hand there it's very shallow but man this is a cutting machine guys these old Toro whirlwinds could cut like a son of a gun so this handle is thicker than the handles at the time and this deck is thicker than the handles at the time. Now let's get to this engine. This is a five horse Briggs. This is a true five horse Briggs and it is somewhere a little over 200 cubic centimeters in displacement. The standard five horse you have on a regular lawnmower, don't quote me, I think it's 140 cubic inches. Um, it's much, much smaller. So this is a this is a bigger five horse than your standard five horse. This is the exact same engine you'd have find on a go-kart, just in a vertical form. So that's a heavy duty torque monster engine, heavy duty air cleaner, heavy duty one gallon gas can. Now, this mower has been completely rehabbed. I have not done anything cosmetic, but it's got New carburetor kit, new coil, new oil, new air filter, new air filter housing. No, that is not the one that came with it. When I got this mower, that had all been gutted, but this is the exact same style that was on it. And as you can see, oh, maybe, maybe you can see, Briggs and Strat. So it is, it is the original, I think the original top, but the rest of it was missing. So we have a big cartridge style air filter, the bottom and the, the bolt and everything that attaches it was missing. The wheels are ball bearing. Um, where are they at? There we go. You can see one there. Grease fitting. And in order to change the cut of height, you have to physically unbolt the wheel and choose what hole you want to put it in. So kind of a pain in the butt if you're switching heights often, but for the people that use these mowers, they kept them at the same height and that uh, kept any, uh, any breakage of the height adjuster lever that you see on a lot of residential mowers. Okay, so I think we've done a pretty good overview. Let's flip her upside down and show you what the bottom looks like. Standard lawn mower. Oh, I forgot to sharpen the blade. Well, that'll be the last thing I do then. Sharpen that blade. Um, as you can see, it is a very, very thin deck. I mean, that's not very deep. But, man, you want to talk about something that's more five foot tall grass. So let's choke her here. Give her a pull. Okay, not sure what went wrong, but my video got corrupted or something. Okay, here we are again. I think she's warm, so we're not gonna choke her. Oh, 
Okay, maybe we should choke her. Let's give her a little choke. Okay, so as you see, this is a true five horse motor. I can't remember where exactly I left off, so. Um, I wanna show you guys, look at this. You see the side discharge? That's made out of metal. I'm 125, 130 pounds. Look at that. Jumping on it, can't even bend it. Step on the deck, and it doesn't flex. That is one tough deck. Now, one last thing I want to show you guys is the lack of an operator presence control. So this is a 1980 model mower, and I think it was 81 or 82. There was two gentlemen that picked up a mower and tried to mow a hedge quite like that, and uh, they cut their fingertips off, kind of like Josh here, and. Uh, they sued Lawn Boy and won because that lawnmower allowed them to pick it up. And so after, I think it was 81, all mowers that were sold had to have the OSHA bar, or what's technically called the Operator Presence Control. So this mower was manufactured before that. So you can leave her running, walk away, pick up your sticks, come back. It's not the safest thing, but as long as you mind your P's and Q's, you will not get hurt. So anyway, this mower is going to be for sale for around a hundred dollars and at that I think I'm making ten bucks profit off it so <laughs> but I've been hauling this thing around for a decade I saved it from a junkyard many years ago uh, where it was being parted out and it just it was such a cool mower I couldn't bear to see it disappear so I brought it home carried it around and now finally have it fixed so anyway that is the Toro heavy duty whirlwind Kind of a rare sight these days. Hope you guys like it. And uh, as always, like, comment, subscribe, interact with me. Makes my analytics look good. Uh, tell your friends. If I can hit 100 subscribers, I'd be a happy camper. Thank you guys. Have a great day.